Let's make a sample instrument out of these. And these. We've been talking about making sample instruments more realistic by using multi-samples and round robins, and how the samples attack, decay, sustain and release so they're more realistic. But what if an instrument makes a sound when you stop playing it, particularly before the note has run out? Pianos have a small clunk as the note is muted, with a mere whisper of the original tone dying out. It's very, very quiet, but it all contributes to the perception of the instrument being real. For this we need to use release triggers, notes that don't play when you play, but play when you don't. So here we have our note ons, and notes which we stop playing halfway through. I'm using Logic's strip silence function to automatically edit the note ons, but for the note offs, or release triggers, or RTs, I'm going to find by ear the point in which I stop playing and the piano makes that clunk. For some of these, you may want to turn up your speakers. Now, as we start making samples that are more complex, labelling will not only be important for how you organise your samples, but also will speed things up for you. The protocol I use is the sample instrument name, the sample type, so here RT for release trigger, and then as a suffix, most importantly, the root note, C1, A0, etc, etc. Now I'm going to build this in two different sample players, contact, and skip along to this time code to see it done in Logic's multi-sampler. Open an instance of contact, double click to make a new instrument, and hit the spanner to open the hood. We'll be working with the group and mapping editor today. Contact automatically makes you your first group. Let's call this Note On. So as we have done before, drag your normal Note On samples onto the mapping editor. But instead of mapping these by hand, I'm going to use an auto map function. Make sure all your samples are lassoed and then control click and select auto map setup. This function analyzes the sample name to help you map it automatically. And as default, it finds root note names and suggests you map them to a single key. Then we're going to use another auto map function, auto spread to, well, spread the notes out and boom, a multi sample instrument in seconds. Like before, we're going to make sure the samples release in a natural manner, but we also want to use those release triggers. For this, let's create a new empty group and let's call it Note Off. Make sure we're not editing all the groups and that the mapping editor is editing selected groups only. Pull in the second set of samples, your release triggers, use auto map as we did before. Now, we don't want to trigger these when the note is playing, we want to trigger it when the note is released. So close up mapping editor and in group editor, toggle on release trigger. As this is a group editor, this will apply to all the samples in that group. Now you can see the groups being triggered not only by note on, but by note off. To really hear what's going on and to check your work, you can boost the volume of that group to hype the effect. This is not only great for instruments that make a noise when the note ends, but also instruments playing in rooms which reverberate past the note stopping. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below. Open an instant of Logic's multi-sampler and click on Mapping. So as we have done before, drag your normal note on samples onto the mapping editor. But instead of mapping these by hand, I'm going to use an auto map function. Make sure all your samples are lassoed and then go to Zone Auto Map, then select this option so that the multi sampler finds the root note in the name of the sample, and boom, not only does the sample remap the notes, it also spreads them out for you. Like before, we're going to make sure the samples release in a natural manner, but we also want to use those release triggers. For this, go to Group and create a new one. Let's call it Note Off. Use auto map as we did before. Now, we don't want to trigger these when the note is playing, we want to trigger it when the note is released. So let's click on the group mapping editor and you'll see an option to switch this group to release trigger on with a decay that is defined by time. So let's switch that on to make sure that not only the thump but the whisper of the note remains intact. Let's give it plenty of release time. As this is a group editor, this will apply to all the samples in that group. Now you can see the groups being triggered not only by note on, 
but by note off. To really hear what's going on and to check your work, you can boost the volume of that group to hype the effect. This is not only great for instruments that make a noise when the note ends, but also instruments playing in rooms which reverberate past the notes stopping. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below.